This past weekend was one of the most remarkable weekends that I can remember having in a really long time. Now you would think that of course it was a wonderful weekend, Elliot. You, you hosted like a two day event that went really, really well. And that's true, hosted a two day event, went really, really well, it was amazing. It would also, you would think like it's because my one of my very best friends, uh, Adam Frower came to Texas to teach this event. We broadcasted it live. Um, or you would think it's because of my birthday. I turned 44 years old on Saturday, November 7th. But actually what made this weekend so remarkable was watching the speech that was given the very first time that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris addressed the United States, in fact, the world as president elect and vice president elect. Um, and I'm not one to get emotional typically when I'm watching television and certainly not when I'm watching television that's related to politics. Um, but you know, I've been saying for a long time, like as I spent my career teaching solution focused grief therapy and writing about solution focused grief therapy and training people and practicing and all that stuff. The one message I would have for people is your words matter. Like words make a difference. Words create impact and they actually matter to um, the people receiving the words. And you know, we have gone through four years plus of such rhetoric that is associated with hate and divisiveness and 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 insults. I mean, the the it's been linguistically, just thinking about just the language. I mean, forget the politics for a minute, just just think about the language. It's been such a difficult experience over these few years, and so much so that I didn't even realize how deeply I'd been impacted by it until it was removed. It made me feel a lot like my childhood and living in a house with my father who was always angry and you were always on edge and you were always on angst. At, like you were always angst and you were always just on the brink of like, like a panic attack. I didn't realize, I didn't realize how, how difficult it was for me as a child until I moved out of that house to go away to college and it was removed. And when I was watching the speech Saturday night, I had that same exact experience. Like I didn't realize how deeply I had been affected by the rhetoric that has been persisting over the past few years until it was removed. And there was a speech, and again, politics aside, but during this speech, there was no hate language. There was no insults. There was no attacks on people. It was just a speech about encouragement and and positivity and bringing the country together and, and all those sorts of things. And you can agree or disagree with what they said, like, I don't actually care about that. My point is, we just watched the country get addressed and there was no hateful language and there was no insulting anyone. There were no attacks, there were no threats. It was just language and it was just hope. And I was watching that with Adam and we were both emotional watching this, just being like, it just feels good to hear good language. And when people say to me, like, you know, like, how do your questions work? Or how does oh, how the Clinton things like, the languaging you use matters. Like that's what makes psychotherapy work. That's what makes some focus grief therapy work. Like the language you use matter. And Saturday night, we got a global experience. We got a global demonstration of exactly that point. And I hope you guys take that on and bring this into your work and bring this into your personhood. The words you use matter. They have an impact. So choose them wisely.